Okay, editing photos is uh, really cool and really simple with uh, with Procreate. So I'm going to start from the beginning, from the very top. The first thing you want to do is go to the wrench, insert a photo, and we'll insert this photo that I took recently when I was trying out suits because all my pre all of my pre um, pre COVID clothes don't fit anymore, so I had to go shopping and buy some bigger clothes. Okay, so editing with Procreate. Some simple things. You can use the smudge brush and then the, a soft airbrush. So smudge and a soft airbrush will usually take care of whatever you need to take care of. For example, let's say we, let's say we want to get rid of my blemishes here. You can just use the airbrush and you can just softly melt away all of the blemishes you can sort of make some colors even just by using what's around it you just you just want to you don't want to ever be able to see what you're doing you just want to blend in from the surrounding colors and textures You can make your brush a little bigger if you want to kind of cover a bigger area at once. But you never want to actually see what you're doing. And also skin does have a texture. So, you know, you, you just be, be, be cognizant of the fact that, you know, skin does have these imperfections and that's kind of what makes us look human. You know, we all have we all have texture to our our skin. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to lighten this up a little bit, I could use the smudge and I could just softly sort of smudge it away or you can color pick the color that's right next to it. You make it a little bit lighter. Then you take your soft airbrush I'll make it a little smaller and I'll lower the opacity. And then I'll slightly just softly just kind of go back and forth in that area and just lighten it up a little bit. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll take a color that's quite close to it. I'll lighten it up a little bit. Then I can just softly little by little you want to you want to build it up just softly little by little color in those dark areas uh, just be careful not to do too much okay so well, let me take care of this I have a freckle on my lip so now I can now I can get rid of it I can just have a smooth lip no freckle oh no I'm, I was in the paint see that I was in the paint let me undo this. I thought it was looking funny. I wanted to be in smudge. I wanted to be in smudge. There we go. So I'll just sort of smudge that away. Just being careful not to do too much because then it starts to look fake. Okay, so that's that's kind of the basis of your editing. Um, smudge with airbrush usually takes care of a lot of what you need even if you need to do something painstaking like this may take a long time but you can completely just get rid of all of these if you wanted to and if you needed to you can get rid of all of these details just by using smudge And just go in different directions too so you're getting the surrounding colors but you get the idea so you can do a lot but I'm gonna bring those back because otherwise they didn't do anything to me so the next quick thing that I wanted to show you is overlay overlay is money so now I'm on overlay and let's say we want to uh, let's give myself some interesting lipstick. 
Why not? So I'm on a new layer, a new overlay layer. Okay, so there's the bottom. I'll just kind of follow the contours of my lips. And then I'll just fill that in. Then you have some crazy, super bright lipstick. Now, in order to make this a little more realistic, uh, one thing you can do is add some noise. So you go to Adjustments and Noise, and what that does is it'll sort of match the graininess of photos. Photos are always going to be grainy. So choose Noise, choose the layer, and then I'll just slide this up and add some, add some graininess to them. So that's going to help. The next thing that'll help is you use your eraser and you use the airbrush. I'll lower the opacity of the of the eraser and just softly erase around just so it's not so harsh. You know, these things kind of have to match their surroundings. So I'm just kind of erasing just to kind of take the edge off a little bit just so it's not so harsh. It'll make it look more realistic. Now, since we're on that new overlay layer, we can also use the adjust hue saturation and we can also change the color. Whoops. I like that kind of gold gold color. It's kind of interesting. I'll make it a little darker. That look, seems to look a, a little bit more natural. I had too many Cheetos. Okay, so let's do another overlay layer. Um, there it is. So now let's let's kind of give me let's give myself some some face paint. So what's a cool shape? We'll do something like this. Something like that. That kind of works. Now I'm going to block out my eye. Okay, so now we have some interesting face paint. So I'm just going to adjust it until it looks how I want it to look. We'll use the eraser and we'll just kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty interesting. Now again, this is on its own layer, so I'll use Alpha Lock. And, well first, you know what, let's do the noise. Let's add some noise to it. So we're gonna do noise, then we're gonna do our little slider. There we go, that looks, that looks better. And then just to be consistent, we'll take the eraser and we'll just sort of Erase a little bit where it would be darker. Just to kind of make it look a little more uh, realistic. And so now this is alpha locked. Um, just I just tap the layer in alpha lock so it'll color only on what's colored. Now let's say we wanted to jazz this up. And just add a different... Wait, let me... Bring the brush, the airbrush back up to 100%. You know, so you can really get some really interesting, cool uh, effects with this. I kind of like the green. I think the green's cool. Okay, so let's, for fun, let's do another color on the other side. And let's see what that looks like. I'll take this layer off Alpha Lock so I can draw on it again. And I'll use Butter Blade. And how about for this one? So I'm going to try to stick to the contours of my nose. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go here. Try to do like a 
more of a straight color or more, I mean more of a more of a triangle kind of straight angled I don't know if I want to do something a little crazy like that I feel like I just want to color it all in And this is really fun just to kind of mess around with. It's pretty trippy, honestly. And if you notice, I'm using the contours. I'm sticking to the contours of my, my face. Since my nose is here, I'm kind of bringing it around like that. You know, just kind of keeping it, keeping it interesting. I think that's pretty fun. I, I have a good time uh, doing stuff like this. So I'm going to make another layer and I'll make it above the the lips. And let's see, what do we want to try now? Let's add some purple. And now let's pl let's play around and see what the other layers uh, will give us. So now we have purple and let's see, let's oh I know what I can do okay so let's just play around with the layers and see what they look like here's multiply, darken It's always good to kind of play around with the layers and see if there's something cool. I do that all the time. So I'm going to go back to overlay and then I want to change the color to something darker. So it looks more like a tattoo. So tattoos kind of have a green sort of pigment to them. Sort of like that. And then I'll lower the opacity. And I'll make I'll make it a bit darker again. Because I want it to kind of look like it's a it's a tattoo. And I'll lower the opacity a little bit more. So you can do a lot with uh with editing. You can do some really fun stuff. And it's just, just a just a fun way to sort of uh play with photos. Now let's let's crop myself out. So I'm just gonna use the selection tool freehand and I'm not going to go too crazy with this and the great thing about the selection tool is you can stop and then restart I absolutely love that and you can undo Sorry, the cat is bothering me. Remove. Is it remove? There we go. So remove, because I wanted to remove these this little bit here. So and it's the same thing as hitting remove. I just tap on the little circle once I once I land on it. So now Let's see, do I want to cut and paste? Yeah, there we go. So I just did cut and paste, and now I'm, now I'm cropped out. I'll make a new layer underneath. I'll just go to white. 
And we use a graffiti brush that's a little bigger. And I'll just give myself a nice little border. I kind of like a half border. So I'll just make it black and then we'll do a Gaussian blur maybe. See how that looks. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to alpha lock my suit and then I'm just going to darken up this area that's light. I'll use the airbrush. So now I'm just darkening, darkening up the suit so that light... Whoops. And I'll just go where I made the outline and I'll just use black and I'll just airbrush just to sort of clean up this little, these little pops. Okay. And then of course you can, if you want to tie in the, uh, the background a little bit, just make some shapes on a new layer. And I'll just duplicate those and do the same thing I did. Duplicate, make the bottom one black. And then sort of offset it a little bit. And then do a Gaussian blur. I'll do the same thing with this. Duplicate, make the bottom one black. Whoops. Hue saturation, black. Just nudge it out a little bit. And then do Gaussian Blur. And I'll just make a new layer and I'll just color pick the blue. I'll make that darker. And I'll use a rectangle. I'll go like that and I'll color drop it. So now I just have that bit there and I'll just uh, do a Gaussian blur just to sort of give the give our background some color or some variation. Same thing as if I was to use airbrush and then just sort of air, airbrush it in a bit. So yeah. You can do some pretty, some really cool stuff. I'll merge all these and I'll just add some noise. Just add a little bit of noise. But there's a lot of fun things you can do. Uh, hopefully, you picked up some things from this. Hopefully, you just get inspired to do some fun photo manipulation. You know, that's part of the game. I never really see it with, with Procreate, but you can do so much. Uh, you can make your own album covers. Um, you can do all, all your own things. Be your own boss. Do all of the stuff that you want to do. Make your own logos. Make your own album covers. Uh, do everything yourself. That's the beauty of Procreate is you can do everything if you just put your mind to it, if you just think about it, and if you just let yourself be inspired by everything that's around you. Um, you can do some fun things like paint yourself with makeup just for fun. But I kind of like this photo, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I like it. I'm into it. So hopefully that was useful. As always, keep drawing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.